Okay, um, I have 16 minutes to do this and according to my phone. Uh, I did a whole video on this and something happened, so I'm just gonna do a quick review on my phone. And I did the other one on my phone and I used a app to do the, the video editing and everything. And this truck's a mess, I apologize guys, but this is all I've got to work with right now until we move into our house. Uh, this Bible really impressed me. I've had, uh, you know, several long primers through the years, and unfortunately, the first four or five of them just, they were, it was horrible. But they, it looks like they've, they're doing a lot better now, I guess, I could say. But this is the, the red, <clears throat> um, long primer 53. So, um, the paper on here, I think, I believe it's 36 or 20, 36 GSM. But uh, the paper quality <clears throat> on here and the feel of it is probably my favorite that I've ever used personally. I just like the feel of it. I'm not saying it's going to be uh, better, but it's, it's it's thick but not too thick. Um, and the text of it's really bold. Not quite as bold as the Church Bible Publisher Bible's um, large print center column reference. Uh, but it's still very clear and very uh, legible and, and consistent all the way <clears throat> through. But what really got me was <clears throat> when they dyed the, the this goat skin cover, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's just really soft compared to a Sovereign, which I'll show you here in a second. And then the inside, the color combo, you got like a scarlet um, cardstock liner, or you know, where they used to glue the, the, the leather which I'm sure this is probably like a calf skin or something like that, um, which is like a Ferrari red or cherry red, whatever you want to call it. And then they go into a scarlet. So you have three different tones of color that really stand out. You have this scarlet, uh, cherry red or Ferrari red, whatever you want to call that, and more like a crimson red, which is a very uh, beautiful Bible. Uh, it just makes out for a really nice Bible. And then you have these navy blue, I think they're Beresford ribbons, which I like to use. There's other ones, I believe... Uh, uh, other ones I use that I believe are just as good, if not better, in some ways. But um, <clears throat> so that's a really quick review. The thing I like about it the most is just the the, the quality of the paper, the print, and the color combination. Uh, there's a lot more I could say about it, and I did, but that video is not working for some reason. There's, a, there's something wrong with uh, the format of that. Now it does have like a long primer. Uh, should it does have in the in the front which i'll get back to it does have the overcasting the stitching and it does have the 36 lined pages in the back for notes and your maps and all that your subject index i'm not going to get in too much detail it does have your presentation pages and let me show you the overcasting so and then you do have the stitching which just helps uh secure the the text block to the the cover and uh it just gives it many many more years of of use um i really like the feel of this leather it's really soft and uh, just for comparison reasons let me go to a sovereign and get it out real quick uh, just put that to the side if i can should have been a little bit more prepared but want to get them out okay um you can tell that Bible's a, this one's a, a much heavier Bible. Let me give you the footprint. So there's a sovereign, and as you can see, I put two of my honey gold ribbons and left two of the navy blue in. Let me give you the footprint difference. Now, if I remember right, okay, so let's put this up here. Um, there, you can see. It's not much bigger, but it sure enough is. It's thicker and it's wider and it's taller. Um, because it's 38 GSM, I believe. If anybody can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But this particular one is the same layout, of course, a long primer, but it has the wide margins. You see how I open that? I'm not doing anything to it. See it kind of, the thickness of the paper, it's just that much more thick, which, of course, if I go like this, I'm sure I can, eh, I just don't like it. It crinkles a little bit. <laughs> And that's that's not a necessarily a bad thing, guys. I'm just telling you it's a thicker paper, so it's great because it's, we have a wide margin. So that's just an idea of the difference between a Sovereign 63 and then uh, the Allen Long Primer that I've shown you here. Now, years ago, I and I've done my own work on this one. You can see a lot darker red uh, art gilding, of course. I kind of did my own upgrades to this one. <clears throat> 
and um, uh, years ago I didn't speak very highly of RL Allen. I had a lot of bad experiences, but their quality control, of course, is just absolutely wonderful now. And uh, time will tell. You know, will these last me as long as the church? Uh, Bible Publisher Bible, or back when I used to use local church, they always would outlast my R.L. Allen Bibles, and only time will tell on that one. But from the feel of it, <clears throat> oh yeah, it's it's built very very well. So let me give you one last look at. Uh, this is so difficult to do in the truck, guys. One last look at this red one. <sighs> Just trying to be careful. Uh, this one I really like. I got two of these now. One. Um, was from evangelicalbible.com and then one was actually I, if I would have known this I would have never got the other one one was given to me by I believe it's scripture truth ministries something like that um, they gave me one and uh, this is the one that I like it's just that right color of red and now that I live in Nebraska you know I don't even watch the football games but I'm sure my wife will force me to go to some now but the Huskers you know go big red so I kind of blend in I'm not a big football guy like I was when I was younger but Nevertheless, I've got the Bible to prove that uh, I live in Nebraska now. Anyways, guys, that's that's it. I just I don't have enough good things to say about this one particularly. I love it. I just love the color combination. I love the paper. The paper is probably the best paper uh, that I felt. It's just that right thickness, and it's not too thin. It's just right on. I mean, this if you're gonna get an R.L. Allen, I would say go if you like red, go with the red. Um, just because uh, the black um, on the Sovereign, it feels just a little bit rougher. This has a real nice, smooth texture to it and just a very soft feel. So I guess that's all I really can say about this, guys. But um, if you want me to put this up on my website, I have not done any art gilding or changing of ribbons. I thought, hey, why not keep the, the what we call, what Derek calls, the salmon under gold. It has that salmon, that kind of pinkish color because it just adds more different textures of the color red to the Bible. Um, I might, I'll probably get around to it and probably end up putting a darker red, but I might not. I kind of like that look, which I don't like with other Bibles, and that's why I do my own upgrades <clears throat> to a darker red or whatever. But I kind of like this classic look. It really goes with the theme of all the red that goes into it. And then with those blue ribbons, it just, uh, it clashes in a very good way. It really, really does. It clashes but in a, in, a, in a tremendous way. So, yeah, if you're looking for a Bible that I personally think is R. O. Allen's best, I would say this one. Uh, because, like I said, the paper is not too, too thick, too thin, and here I go rambling, but it just lays flat. It's a great Bible. There's not much room to write, but then you have a notebook in the back, and, of course, there's people. R. O. Allen and <clears throat> R. O. Allen, you know, they sell journals. You can get a journal like a red one. I'm sure they'd have a red one in goat skin or something like that that you can carry around with this one. So I'd preferably have this just because the size is, is much more reasonable and have a, a journal that was maybe the same goat skin color or even a black one. It really wouldn't matter to me personally and have all my notes on that. <clears throat> but you do have your subject index area in the back. And let's see how much margin they give you back there. Proper names. So you get a little bit of margin, you can always use the numbering system and the proper names or subject index or anything like that and add a note into your Bible and always put maybe in the little margin in the text, say, you know, page such and such in the back and you'll know where to find your note. You can do that also. But like I said, there's still, uh, after the maps, there's still 36, I believe, 36 pages of lined uh, cardstock, which is great. So. If you're like me and write real small with a micron pen, you'll be just fine. But this is my favorite Bible from R.L. Allen, and uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, so I'm going to keep on rambling if I keep on. So I'm going to go and let you guys go. So there it is in all its glory. <clears throat> the R.L. Allen 53 in red. Highland goat skin. I'm not sure what the liner is. I'm thinking it's probably a nice calf skin or calf split or something, but a nice, beautiful... Uh, it might even be goat skin itself, I'm not sure. But that is, this one really impressed me, that's why I'm doing the video, and I'm sure uh, other people out there would like that. I think, because they, they didn't sell out of these. I'm like wondering, okay, I've seen the navy blue, I've seen the black, I've seen the sovereign black, and I was like, why is the red? And I, so I decided to order one, actually, you know, I had one given to me. So I have two of them now, which will probably be given away on a contest or giveaway or something. And, uh... 
and I said, I think it's just because people haven't seen it in person. Once you feel this and see it in person, it, 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 it's like a special one of their special editions. It just has these different colors and and the ghost skin is so much softer than the black and I think it probably has something to do with how they dye the, the leather. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it guys. All right, take care. Until next time, good day and God bless.